I have a linear air tracker with light gates, a laptop, and a blower. So. This is the glider that goes along the track. The glider is attached to masses on a string that go over a pulley to reduce friction. And then these light gates, along with the card, measure the velocity at each section. Using the velocity and the time between each, the computer can then calculate the acceleration. So I've set it up and I'm letting it go. This first time I've only got one mass on each, so that's an added mass of 0 0.02 kilos. I'm adding one extra one, and then another. That makes a total mass of 0 0.04 added kilos, that's 40 grams. Now 60 grams, 0 0.06 kilos. If you look really carefully, you can see on the computer screen the next bar appearing. And watch carefully, as every time I add a pair of masses, it slows down. You can see me this time, I'm demonstrating how I'm bringing it back. I'm making sure the card doesn't go through the light gates, because that can confuse it. It's starting to get a bit full now, so I'm having to be really gentle. You see how it really is starting to appear quite slow now. Last one. Very slow. So the cool thing about a data logger is I can take the data out and plot it on a graph. And this shows me an inverse relationship. That's y is 1 over x for maths people. So what I can do is I can do 1 over the acceleration that we measure. And I can end up with a graph that looks like this. It's actually a straight line, fantastically. What's happening is that the acceleration is becoming less as I increase the mass of the glider. That shows that there is an inverse relationship between the mass and the acceleration for the same force. So therefore, that is another restatement of Newton's second law. If I double the mass, then I'm going to have to half the acceleration if the force remains constant.